Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ludra Cooper, also known as Rail C. You're watching the review of BET Tales, season two, episode five. This is Bodak Yellow by Cardi B, coming up next. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment on this video. Um, also, check out the uh, description. I got a couple of links um, related to this series. I have um, a recent interview by Irv Gotti with Vlad TV, and he talks about BET Tales. I also have a, uh, there's a link to a Facebook group. That's right, on Facebook. So if you are on Facebook, uh, click on the link. I have in the description there. Um, it'll lead you to the group, uh, Facebook um, BET Tales discussion group, where you can meet other uh, viewers of the show, other fans of the show. Uh, we talk about you know previous episodes, you know the current episodes and whatnot. Anything that's related to this show, you can uh, talk about it in the group. I also have previous episodes from last season. Um, check it out. Uh, as well as I have the first uh, premiere for this season, Brothers, um, which was the, uh, the first uh, episode of this season. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And not, last but not least, I also have links for other YouTubers that do reviews on this show as well. So if you want to get a different perspective from someone else, go and check out those links also. Um, that's pretty much everything in the description box. Now, um, so far as tonight's episode, um, well, one thing I want to talk about, BT Tales in general, just some things, some ideas. Like I said, um, you know, this uh, show was a great idea by Irv Gotti, and I will always commend him as I'm doing these reviews uh, for this brilliant idea. Um, I, just, I just wish I would have came up with the idea, you know, <laughs> but since I had, since I didn't, um, I'm doing these reviews and, you know, just talking about the show. Um, I know um, in the interview, Irv Gotti said that this season he, you know, wanted to do something different, which he kind of mixed it up with uh, new songs, four new songs, four old songs, and which tonight is one of those new songs, uh, Bodak Yellow. It's considered one of the newer songs, as well as uh, doing R&B. Y'all already seen Mary J. Blige, um, My Life, and then um, Lauren Hill. The, um, it'll be in one of the upcoming episodes this season as well. Um, X Factor by Lauren Hill. So, um, you know, again, man, big ups to uh, Irv Gotti. Um, one thing about this show, though, and I, and I always have all these ideas that I, you know, don't have no problem of exp um, using it on this video, but I like... Or I would like for maybe next season where, you know, each song, is, you know, each song, each episode, excuse me, is inspired by a song, which I think it would be just, you know, just an idea to have the artist of that song uh, with a cameo appearance in an episode, you know, that makes sense. Just something out, just an idea I'm throwing out there. You know, maybe, uh, who knows, Irv Gotti might hear this and his next meeting with the uh, program director at BT Networks, you know, he'll discuss it with them and, you know, they'll renew him for uh, two more seasons. Who knows, you know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> just an idea out there. But, um, man, like, man, this show, man, is just so awesome because, you know, who would ever thought that, you know, a song inspired, you know, or an episode inspired by a song, you know, bringing a song to life. A song is already uh, living, but you put it in a, you use it as a, a movie or in TV form, you really bring it to life, you know, or even a book, whatever, you know. So I I, I like when, you know, stuff like this, you know, just like with with, with um, soundtrack songs in, in movies and stuff like that. I love this stuff, man. I love it. But um, anyway, um, let's talk about this episode again, uh, Bodak Yellow by Cardi B. When I first heard the song about a year and a half ago, I thought it was a very awesome song. 
And then once I understood and realized Cardi B's, uh, her history before she got famous, and I was like, wow, she's, she well deserves what, she, what she's getting now. And, um, and that is a promising future, a promising career in the music industry. Um, I, I think she got more years to go. She got a lot to uh, even learn at this point. And, uh, and just a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff for her to do um, in the future. I do see her acting. I know she has a movie coming out real soon, but I, I do see her um, doing more acting and even doing cartoon voices. She has a very unique voice. Um, I'm, I'm serious. She has a very unique voice, and I, I think that she would do well in that. But so far as the entertainer, you know, entertainer, you know, hands down, she, she's a, she's, she's, she's up there. All right. So this episode again. Cardi B, Bodak Yellow. Um, basically about a, a young woman. Um, she's a stripper or dancer, whatever you want to call it. Um, she lives with her younger sister and her friend slash co-worker who also works at the same strip club. Um, the goal of, just like the goal of a stripper or the goal of a drug dealer, you know, their ult ultimately their goal is to get that one big lick so they can get out of that game or out of that lifestyle to live a better life pretty much violet here um, her mother is deceased so she's the one who's taking care of her sister while she's in high school we discovered later in the episode that the reason why her sister is always getting in trouble because she was um, violet would always get phone calls from the guidance counselor about her sister's behavior Violet was always on, you know, tough on her about, you know, her getting her, uh, uh, getting her act right, you know, in school. Um, cause Violet is a high school dropout herself and she don't want her little sister to fall into that same, um, same step as she, as she is or those same shoes or whatever. So we discovered that by the end of the episode or close to the end of the episode, the reason why um, her sister's getting in trouble is because she has to deal with bullies and people picking on her at school because her sister is a stripper. So that pretty much explains why she's always getting in trouble, <laughs> always fighting. Um, but Violet, um, you know, she goes through a lot, you know, being a stripper and she has to deal with the owner of the strip club, very nasty, arrogant jerk. Um, don't even remember his name. That's just how nasty he was. And then you have uh, little Romeo. Um, he's a, uh, I guess, a so-called customer that comes into the strip club. And Violet gave him a lap dance. But during that lap dance, she's also having a conversation with him about her music. And you know, he's he's like a producer. He make beats or whatnot. So he he likes her though. He really likes her. Like he really wants to be her man, but she's more of about business, you know. She don't mix pleasure with business. She, um, cause he's a construction worker also, uh, as a scene where he's driving a pickup truck, you know, talking to her through the window while he's driving on the side of the street and while she's on the sidewalk. Um, they get into the studio, they lace the track. Um, she goes to this, I guess, like a sort of like a talent show, and she performs. Um, it's like an open mic, I guess, and she performs. And there you have uh, Rashida. Um, she was also in this. She's like the famous female rapper. But she, after uh, Violet performs, she gets up on stage and this. I mean, she did a rap diss so hard on Violet, you know, this makes Violet upset. She's upset with Lil Romeo um, because, you know, he still tells her that she did a good job, but she's not feeling it. She cuts his out. Um, she goes back to work the next day, still getting into it, you know, with the owner. And not to mention... Violet is upset with uh, Lil Romeo also too because he um, ended up giving the masters to um, the owner of the strip club because he owes him money. He owes him like 20 grand. So, you know, they get into it. You know, they actually uh, 
he had his bodyguards beat up little Romeo, so Romeo gave him the masters. Um, then uh, that one night when she, when uh, Violet came back to work or whatever, you know, she did a good job. <laughs> um, Rashida shows up and she pretty much um, wants to spend her money on Violet but it's not really to spend money on her like pleasure she just really wanted to have a conversation with her and like you know put her on because she realized that she is a dope MC but she didn't want it you know she didn't want nobody else to uh, I guess like discover Violet so she dissed her on purpose that night and Violet told her straight up that was the first time she ever performed in front of a crowd period so that goes to show you that you know imagine what she can do once she get you know more practice whatever so um you know she pretty much paid her gave her enough money the whole pretty much the whole all this all, enough money for all the strippers in the strip club and the owner of course he gets upset he don't know what's going on you know violet she pretty much bought her way out of uh, being a stripper it was a real brief um review sorry guys but i was just so into it till i'm just at a loss for words <laughs> uh, don't forget to again subscribe like share comment on this video and we'll see y'all next week Peace.